Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Airtable uh, with Outlook. First of all, we want to create ourselves an account at Airtable.com and once we do that, the fastest way how to get to integration is through uh, air, uh, writing in the search engine Airtable.com slash integrations. Once we are here, we can look for the integrations that we want to do or we want to create. Uh, how we are going to actually make the integration happen? Uh, we can use automate.io. You will find the link in the description below this video. And we want to go to the top corner, top rightish corner, and we want to hover over integrations. Once we are here, we want to go and we want to start with see all categories. Once we click there, we, uh, we can search for app. In this case, we want to start with Airtable as the application that will be creating the integration. The second application, as you can see, after we click on Airtable, will be the one affected by Airtable. In our case, it's Microsoft Outlook. We click on Outlook and as you can see, we are already redirected and uh, we can now pick from popular integrations between Outlook and Airtable or we can go straight down on the site and create your own integration. As you can see, we have to pick from those two because we want to start with Airtable. So let's go with new record, for example, and this will be the action or the application affected by the action. So the action will be after the new record is added to the specific table, it will send an email uh, through Microsoft Outlook. And you can just try it now. After clicking on try it now, uh, you will be redirected and you have to log in or create an account at Automate. But there's other way how we can make this uh, integration happen and it's through Zapier.com. So in Zapier.com, we also have to create an account. Once we do that, we want to go to dashboard or Zaps, my apps, it's completely up to you, but we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a Zap. We click on make a Zap. And right now we can name the Zap. Let's go with Airtable to Outlook, for example, like this. And once again, uh, same as uh, at Automate, we want to go and we set, we want to set up a trigger event. The trigger event will start in Airtable, like this. We press continue. Now uh, we have to pick from those three events. Continue. Now we have to pick an account. So let's go with Airtable. Continue. And now uh, by setting up a trigger, uh, there is a base. It's user research. This is the base that you created before at Airtable. And now let's go users, companies, features and companies, let, let's say. And we want to press continue. In this window, uh, we can test our trigger, but we also can go straight to action number two. The sex, uh, sorry, the action number two will be Microsoft Outlook. We click on Microsoft Outlook, we pick the event, update, contact, create or send an email, same as automate. We press continue and all we have to do now is just sign in to Microsoft Outlook and that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.